Hello everybody, this is Sisters Intuition. My name is Shelly. Welcome each and every one of you. Um, we're going to be doing, which one are we doing? Virgo. We're going to be doing Virgo for mid-month March until the end of March. So if you have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, there could be messages in this for you. But y'all know the drill, baby. It's general. Take the part that resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, if it's not your message, it's not your message. Leave it for the Virgo that belongs to you. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. If anybody would like to donate to the channel or get a personal reading, there is a number to contact me for any readings and a PayPal to make any donations and for any reading payments. And don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. I want to personally thank each and every one of you, the new subscribers, the ones that's been here since November, since I started my channel. I want to thank each and every one of you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and helping me get this channel going. I'm trying to get to that thousand mark, that way we can go live over here, okay? Um, you can follow me on Facebook, Shelly Evans. I go live there each and every day. So if you'd like to catch me live, go over to Shelly Evans, hit the follow button, and you'll get notified of when I go live. And you can follow me on TikTok, Sisters Intuition. Now let's get going, baby. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what does Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from now to... Oh, shit, okay. Here we go with the shit hitting the floor again. So let's see. Oh, Lord. Okay, there could be some reactions going on. Okay, we got the South Node. Uh, Spirit is saying now is not the time. Maybe you need to reconsider. Uh, there could be some remembering going on. It's about the past. It's something that's already happened, but now is not the time. There could be some stuff going on around your family because I do have the fourth house here. So, you know, there could be some shit going on about what makes you feel secure, your family, your finances. Uh, and there is some... Um, Feelings being caused by these things is happening, and maybe you need to be nurturing your reactions. Okay, the tenth house, yeah. This is around responsibilities and shit. So, okay, we'll see where we go. The hell, we'll go with this. Okay. So, what do we have? What is the message for um, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from now until the end of March? What is the message for Virgo? Okay. Ooh, we got the back. So there is telling you to take care. There is some enemies. Um, there's enemies that's working against you or you're working against somebody. Take it as it resonates, but we got some enemies. Okay, they're working against people. We got some mice. So we got some, we got, uh, some shit going on among friends and family. There could be some arguments, some disagreements going on. Okay, what do we have for uh, Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from now until the end of March. Virgo. So, we have the wind chimes, because there's some kind of peace and harmony coming. Woo, we got the chain, baby. That is a chain of events that is going to be taking, a, that's going to be affecting your life. We got the quill. There is, you know, you need to get back to the basics. Okay, we got the bell. There's going to be some kind of announcement. We got the funnel. So, yeah, there is a period of frustration, anger going on. There's lessons that had to be learned. Uh, we got the eagle. There is triumph over trouble and obstacles, but there is a clog. You need to pay attention. You need to be careful and pay attention. Uh, don't be taking risk. Uh, there's obstacles to overcome. So we got the hill, obstacles to overcome, and the beetle. There is good fortune here. But they some lessons. Frustration, anger. <laughs> okay, what is the message for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What is the message for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What is the message for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from now until the end of March? Okay, tell me about this thoughts for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from now until the end of March. Okay, there could be some legal issues going on, okay? There could be a person in despair here. There could be legal issues going on. This man could be in jail or going to jail, and he is thinking about this lady, okay? Yeah, there is some shit that's really happening. Somebody's got some legal actions going on. Somebody could be going to jail, okay? Tell me, there could be some abuse going on. Could be some family abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse. So there could be going some, somebody going to jail over some physical uh, violence. Um, yeah. Tell me about Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the message for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from now? Okay, what we got? Yep, the controller. Yeah, we got a controller. This is somebody that's always in need of controlling people, places, things, and situations. We need to know about this controller for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from now to the end of March. 
Okay, there's a third party situation. Okay. This person is a fucking hater. So this person is working against you. They're in here hating on you. They could be acting like you're your friend. And they're just wanting to knock you down to the side because they want to be able to control you and your situation. Yeah, this is a false person. Okay. This is a distorted feminist. So this is um, somebody who was wanting to control. They probably could put some abuse going on. Physical, mental, emotional abuse. Um, wanting to keep this woman distorted, confused. Want to make her fearful, fearful of conflict, fearful of rejection, fearful of being reciprocated, of people liking her. Who gives a damn, baby? Don't let this motherfucker keep you confused. But you know, uh -uh. okay, yeah. You could have had to lock, lock this person, ex lover. You could have had to lock this person up. Okay, they could be a controller. Yeah, um, this person is, has a hidden agenda. You know, pay attention to this person because they got hidden agendas that they are not telling you about, okay? And this is a third-party uh, situation. There is uh, interference going on. Shit. Whether it be lover, family, or friend. Pull my fucking hair out. But there's third-party interference. Lover, family, friend, doesn't matter. In a mental prison. Somebody could be in jail right now feeling like they're in a mental prison. Feeling very trapped. Uh, feeling like they're not able to do anything. Uh, yeah, you got some nosy people. It's all up in your fucking business. Okay, what else do we need to know about this? What else do we need to know about this spirit? Virgo. Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus from now to the end of the bunch. Yeah. Romantic affair. So there was a, a sex fix. A secret admirer, secret lover, fuck buddy. Okay. Mm. What else for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus from now to the end of March. Yep. Got an obsessive lover. Very controlling. Very unhealthy. Very karmic. Um, very controlling. And this person is going to bankrupt you. You better get rid of their ass. Yeah, they're threatening you. They could be intimidating you, try to bother you. It could be a group of people. Okay, yeah, these people could be acting cold towards you. And you could be like, well, do they like me? Baby, don't give a fuck if they like you. You know, if they're showing you that they're haters and they don't like what you got going on and they're trying to knock you down, baby, don't give them the satisfaction. Act cold back. That's a two-way street. What else? What else do we need to know about this for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from now to the end of March? Yeah. This person could be coming in trying to chase you. This person is very clout hungry. They do anything or say anything in order to get their way. What else for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from now to the end of March? Yeah, you're unfazed by this, okay? Don't let this shit bother you. This person could want you back. They're all in their head. They're overanalyzing. They're overthinking. Yep, jail. This person could be in jail or on their way to jail. And this person is having nightmares, baby. This person is unable to sleep. You know, they could be seeing things, hearing things. You know, they're having nightmares for real. Okay, let's see where the hell we go with this shit. You don't like this energy, to be honest with you. Don't like it. Especially with somebody controlling. You could have to lock somebody up. You know, the honest sword. Yeah, somebody done this shit to themselves. And now they got a lot of anxiety and fear because you reap what you sow. Clarify Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from now until the end of March. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from now until the end of March. Six of Swords, Page of Swords. Yeah, there's somebody watching, man. Okay, there could be legal issues going on. You have Sign of Taurus. Yeah, you could be moving away from this person or travel. Here's Virgo. You know, you've done a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching. You're wanting to get away from this person, okay? Page of Swords in reverse. This is somebody that if they contact you, they're a manipulator. They could be stalking you, watching you, and this is, you know, Page of Swords in Reverse is somebody that's watching you and trying to figure out what somebody's doing in love, like surveillance, okay? You know, the Six of Swords is you could be doing traveling, or this person could be traveling, uh, but you need to move forward, um, forward movement, you know, move past this. Um, the Hierophants here, you know, the Virgo card, Hermit, you could be disconnecting yourself from people. You're doing a lot of thinking. Clarify this Hierophant. This is Taurus. Clarify Hierophant for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Chariot. Yeah, moving forward. You got to have the willpower and the motivation, spirit saying, to move forward. You got to guard, pretend, you know, not pretend. Guard and protect yourself. Stand your ground. Um, but, you know, the, the sign of cancer is here. It's like you got to have the willpower and the motivation to move past this person. Okay? The fool, yeah. The fool, you know, start a, you know, a leap of faith. You know, work towards your happiness. To clarify the chariot and the hierophant for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mountain, and the March, yeah, three of swords. 
you know, you don't want to fight and argue anymore, five of wands, you know. You just want out of this toxic ass connection, the Capricorn, uh, uh, Capricorn, the devil in reverse is Capricorn card. You want to get out of this toxic ass relationship. Five of Pentacles. You know, you want to leave this person out in the cold. You could have had a very hard times, having uh, money problems, sign of cancer. You know, this person could have hidden some shit from you. Um, this person could have made you fearful. They could have put up this illusion to make you fearful. They was hiding shit from you. And their ambition and goal was to hurt you. And that's fucked up. That's what their ambition and goal was. To hurt you, bring you sorrow and pain. And this is the two of... This two of pentacles, this right here is juggling going on. Okay, clarify the moon and the devil in reverse for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Clarify this devil in the reverse and the moon for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Ooh, the high priest. The high priest. So this is somebody that is, the high priest is Pisces. This is somebody that's using their intuition. They're into getting into their spirituality. You know, you could have kids with this kid, Page of Cups, you know. But, uh, yeah, you know, you're using your intuition, you know, uh, you, you could be getting into your spirituality. Um, clarify, okay, hang on a minute. Give me one more on this devil in the reverse and the moon. Devil in reverse, devil in reverse and the moon for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Devil in reverse and the moon for sun, moon, rising, Venus. Ooh, the queen of pentacles in the reverse. Mm. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that's not nurturing. This is a liar. This is a nasty-ass energy. Okay? This is somebody that's... Um, mm. this, this person is making you unstable. Okay? This is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's some kind of clarity, truth here about this um, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is some... And the Two of Cups. Yeah, you could have found out that this person had options. Okay? Uh, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, the High Priest, the Devil. You could have got some kind of clarity that this Queen of Pentacles, that this right here, this person was trying to send you some kind of, um, mm, this person is very judgmental, mean-spirited. Yeah, this person right here could have been sending out some negative energy. Okay, negative energy, yeah. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the Emperor. Yes, yeah, somebody want to control mm, the world. Okay. We got the Eight of Wands on the bottom. There's some kind of rapid change. There could be communication going on. Okay, the Emperor. This is um, this is somebody that um, that's stable. Somebody could be running their own business. Somebody wants control, power. Yeah, somebody's wanting to control and power somebody. Yeah. And this is through finances, okay? You could have been through a battle with this person over a long period of time. But, you know, you've been at it, but you're dealing with a knot of wands. You're dealing with somebody that's very impulsive, very lustful. Um, you know, somebody that's very flighty, very in and out. They could, you know, yeah, somebody could have started something new with somebody. Clarify the Emperor for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What was a whole book come out? Ace of Wands. Somebody could have been traveling on the road backwards and forth towards somebody. You know, making some plans. Uh, yeah, there are some challenges here, some burdens, some struggles. The Nine of Wands, though, is like, you need to be careful. Somebody's past is coming back to home. Whatever they done, this negotiation, this juggling, this lovers, <laughs> you know, this backwards and forth, something is coming back to haunt somebody at the bottom of my ass. Because this shit is coming back. Somebody's having struggles, they're having challenges. Now somebody's at a crossroads, they're trying to figure out what the hell they're going to do. Um, you need to be, be mindful because you need to take what you've learned in the past and use it right now. Because, you know, you need to be careful because there's some enemies here. Okay? They're tra you know, there's a lot of travel here. Uh, somebody could be wanting to travel towards somebody, towards love news and the tower. Somebody's getting released here. The king of wands. Somebody's releasing somebody. Somebody's releasing somebody. Mm. Clarify the high priest for Virgo. Justice. Could be a Libra. Somebody's getting their justice, their karma. The death card in reverse. This shit ain't over yet, but it. this is... Uh, some, okay, somebody's getting their justice. Could be a Libra. Somebody's going through justice, karma. Okay? Could be a karma, cause and effect for their action. Page of Wands, there's good news coming in through work for somebody, Three of Pentacles. 
But the, somebody doesn't want this to be over because the Queen of Swords, somebody's wanting to go independent and do this shit by themselves. Okay? They've made a choice, a decision to cut out somebody from the past. They're investing their time in something that's going to be stable for them. Clarify this, because this is third party. Clarify this three of pentacles. Clarify this three of pentacles. Three of pentacles, three of pentacles, three of pentacles. Clarify three of pentacles for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Clarify the three of pentacles for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Clarify the three of pentacles for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Clarify the three of pentacles for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Yeah, nine of swords. Somebody's got a lot of anxiety and fear because somebody's going towards their success. They're working towards their family. Yeah, they're going towards their creativity. The emperor, somebody's growing and work. Somebody's growing, okay, in their, in their work, their business, uh, their creativity. The empress is growth, expansion, the page of pinnacles. Somebody's getting money. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment here. Now somebody's got anxiety and fear because this person is the high priest. This is somebody knows that somebody's married. Somebody's got a third party. Somebody knows this. So they're deciding to cut this person out, and now they're mad. They're hating, you know, because they're, you know, they're going to have some challenges to overcome. That's what I'm seeing here. And their ambition and goal the whole time, they know what they was doing was to hurt somebody and to manipulate somebody, you know. So, yeah, this person is not saying that, is not saying that they are married. Yeah. So now, yeah, they're at a crossroads. Now they don't know what to do. They're having a hard time. Yeah, they're having a hard time through their money and their work. They're having a nightmare. They could be in fishing to go to jail, all in their head. They want them back, yeah, because it says they're cloud hungry. They got the hidden agenda. They want to keep this woman distorted. It's an ex-lover. They don't, they want to come into control. Yeah, this right here is what it is. They hid that they had a... They hid that they had a wife or a husband here. That's what this is. And now they're hating. And they want to come back and chase with hidden agendas because they're clout hungry. Because they see that somebody's business is growing. Alright. Damn. Uh, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus from now until the end of March. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus from now until the end of March. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus from now until the end of March. Something else flipped over. Let me find it. Okay, this one. Okay, it says the situation will improve. And it is the yes and if you believe. you got to start believing in yourself and it's a yes. But there's a waiting period. you got to wait. Because there's big happy changes coming in for somebody, but somebody is letting you go and forgiving is forgiveness, forgiveness, okay? So, yeah. So anyhow, be mindful if this is you or the person you're dealing with. Somebody's got some hidden agendas. Somebody's hit a whole marriage and somebody has been using somebody else that they wasn't married to, that they was going backwards and forth, just having some lust, fuck buddy, uh, that they work with. Be careful because this person's at a crossroads. Now they're trying to plan to come back because they want you back because they see that you're growing. They say that you're going towards success. So be very mindful of that. All right? You got enemies near. All right? So, all right. So I hope that this helps you for whatever reason. If it doesn't, it's not your message. Check your other placements. Check your other signs, okay? Um, so, yeah. Don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. If you would like to follow me on Facebook, Shelly Evans, I go live there each and every day. Go over and hit the follow button and catch me live. Follow me on TikTok, Sisters Intuition. If anybody likes to get a personal read and donate to the channel, all that's in the description box below. I send you all peace, light, and love. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for tuning in. Bye, y'all.